Today, I will be talking about why Liberia and Ethiopia weren't colonized during the Scramble for Africa. The Scramble for Africa was a period between 1881 and 1914 of European occupation and colonization for Africa. By 1914, 90% of Africa was controlled by Europe. Only two countries remained independent, Liberia and Ethiopia. Liberia's story is pretty straightforward. Liberia was established by Americans in 1821 as the Cape Maserado colony, just south of Sierra Leone. It was established as a place for relocation of former slaves outside British jurisdiction. This was expanded into the colony of Liberia in 1824. Liberia was ignored by European colonizers because it was still seen as an American colony at the time of the scramble for Africa. Ethiopia was a different story. Ethiopia could have been colonized by either Britain or Italy. The British tried to conquer Ethiopia by dethroning King Theodore, who was Emperor of Ethiopia from 1855 until his death in 1868. This did not succeed, and the British simply considered Ethiopia unworthy of colonization and gave up. Italy also tried to invade Ethiopia, but failed due to the Ethiopians having learned to protect their land. Ethiopia organized a rebellion that culminated in the Battle of Adwa in 1896. Italy proved to be more persistent than Britain, however, when in 1935, Italian dictator Benito Mussolini succeeded in capturing the country. This success was short-lived, however, when the Allied States, victors of World War II, along with rebel fighters, regained Ethiopia from Mussolini and restored Haile Selassie as Emperor of Ethiopia.